want to ask where the nurses were crying for some support from the government. Where was he at that time? The pressure weighed heavily on Mr. Spencer and it appeared he cracked. But there's to be no let up. The energy minister Clive Mullins told the House that he'd called the police fraud squad to investigate. TVJ's Archibald Gordon was in Gordon House. It was a crying current Spencer who rifled through Clive Mullings' latest update on the Cuban light bulb scandal. To bring to the attention of the honor. The update follows a meeting with Cuban officials last week about the four million light bulbs that they sent along with the volunteers to distribute them. The energy minister said he was told Cuba provided the funds for the stipend paid to the volunteers. But he presented invoices from one of the companies which managed the project. And those invoices also claim for the stipends. With a total being 49,716,150 dollars. Mr. Speaker, as I stated before, the $85,612,320 already disbursed to Universal Management and Development Company Limited is for the same period. It's the reason the ministry has called in the fraud squad and referred the matter to the Director of Public Prosecutions. And as when he first raised it, Clive Mullings again questioned the role of the former junior minister, Colonel Spencer, who okayed the payments. At the urging of his opposition colleagues, the clearly crying current Spencer did not respond. His colleagues rose to his defense, accusing Clive Mullings of grandstanding. The last occasion we were in this house, the member deferred responding to that statement at the time. Two weeks ago, we are now here and to date we have had no response. I, this country and this government will not sit in a vacuum at the behest of the member. And therefore, and therefore, and therefore, am I now to be, to be stopped in my tracks? Because the member who elected to put up his response has failed to do so, I shall not remain silent. But it's Mr. Mullings could not provide a timetable within which the auditor and contractor general are expected to complete their reports, but he insisted the matter would be dealt with with urgency.